Hey there, just a quick video to show you how to make a two-stage indirect EVAP air cooler. All right, now we got four gallons of water in there. Water temp 84. It's just a little below medium, that's the fan speed right now. Beautiful. Alright, we're getting a solid 58 Fahrenheit on the temps now. And what is that, 14 Celsius? Beautiful. Alright, let's put this back in there. So it's going good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is fire up the pump for this. That'll be a big one, because we'll see how that all works. I'm going to keep an eye on these spots right here, especially that one. I didn't push it on that far, but it's super tight, so it should be okay. Beautiful, check it out. It's working perfect. Okay, now I got the second pump on. So it's going through that radiator, up through there, and this is a return tube. And that water, by the way, is nice and cold. Sixty-two five. It's coming back in at sixty-two five seventeen. That's the temp of the water coming back in. And it comes out here at like 62. It's working perfect. No leaks anywhere, everything's solid. And check out the flow. This is a little bit cooler than this. Whole thing's kind of cool though. It's not really heating it up that much. Going through this small radiator is not really heating the water up that much before it comes back. Meaning you could probably use a lot bigger radiator over here and leave everything else the same and be okay. Nice cool air coming out of here. It's working perfect. Nice and cool. Awesome. All right, just a quick overview of how these work again. So you put the water in the bottom, fire up the pump, and the pump shoots the water down the pads. Then you just flip on the fan up here. That sucks air through all four pads up and out the top, cooling the air. That's your cool, humid air. The side effect of this, though, is that the evaporative process works on the pad. So as the water goes around and around the pad, it actually super cools the water in the bottom. That's because most of the water doesn't actually evaporate with each pass, maybe just 1%. Then all we're doing is taking advantage of the cold water in the bottom with an extra set of tubes and a pump over to a radiator and a fan. That gives you your cool, non-humidified air. 
At that point, you can drop the return tube from that radiator right back in here if you want to. That'll give you just a standard indirect evap air cooler. But if you can, use the second radiator, make it a two-stager. That way it'll pre-cool the water going back into the tub with the cool air coming out here. So obviously the air won't be as cool out here, but who cares, we're not really using it much anyway. All right, now I'm gonna break this whole thing down and show you every part that's on it. 